It's Mojo in the Morning Show, your home of the phone scams. Julie rented a huge cabin up north for Labor Day weekend. She has been planning it for months, and Spike is going to tell her that the cabin is no longer available, and the reason why is a horrible one. Hello? Hello? You're home with the phone scams. <laughs> this is Mojo in the Morning. Hello? Is this Julie? Speaking. Julie, this is Kurt Brewer from <laughs> Property Management calling about the rental for next weekend. Oh, hey. Hi. Uh, listen, we had a little problem come up, and we're not going to be able to provide that property for you. What do you mean? It's just a little hiccup with the owner, and I apologize. We're not going to be able to give you the property. What do you mean you're not going to give us the property? We signed the contract, and... Right. Well, it's an issue with the owner, and I'm really not at liberty to go into it, but it's just not going to be available for you. So I'd wait, like... wait, 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 wait. We signed a contract for this property three months ago. We're paid in full. It's already taken care of. Right, and, and I'm it, just... It's already done. Well, I, there's a lot of people we rent to. You just have to be willing to be a little flexible when something like this comes up. Flexible how? Well, it's just we can't give you that place. I'd like to come up with a different unit for a different week that'll work for you. But wait a minute. We, this is Labor Day weekend, okay? This deal was made three months ago. It's paid in full. We had eight people coming, including a baby. Well, okay, it's, 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 it's not like another weekend okay, well, an option. But, all right, well, don't blow your skirt up. We can accommodate that many people, but as I said, it, it won't be until at least the following week. No, 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 I, I don't think you understand. Next weekend is Labor Day weekend. Mm -hmm. We have off, okay? It's not like eight people can take off another week. People have jobs. They have to work, all right? Well, we, was, we all have this, things we, in life that we really here. want. I have a contract here, okay? Right. Right? We're paid in full. Well, I mean, we can get out of the contract. That's not the problem. It's just that you can't expect everything to go your way all the time. That's just selfish. What do you mean? This is a business. What do you mean go my way? Well, you're being selfish. Are you kidding me? I'm just trying to put you in another unit. We can't put you in that unit. If there's another what cabin... What unit do you have? Well, I have a different unit about 10 miles from there. It's a, it's a nice cabin. Well, does it have a guest house like the one that we are supposed to be getting? No, you need a guest house. I want a house that is equal to the value of that house, including a guest house, because I have my in-laws coming. I have eight people coming and a child. Well, I have one that will hold ten people. It's probably about a half-hour drive away from there. But that's what we're paying for is to be on the lake. Right. I just can't give you this house. Why? Well... I mean, I wasn't going to say what happened because we normally wouldn't share this kind of information when the owner asks us not to, but I could tell us it's really upsetting you. The deal is uh, th there was a crime committed there. There was a murder. What? Somebody, somebody got murdered in the home last week. Last week? Yeah. A, a guest? It was a renter. I guess, I mean, the less I say about it, the better. But yeah, it was a, a gruesome crime scene last weekend. Oh, my God. And the owner feels that, you know, nobody's going to want to rent it out at this point. So uh -huh. we're not even going to bother to try and fill it when something so horrible has happened there. I mean, you can understand that, couldn't you? Right, right. You wouldn't want to stay there, would you? Not, no, I don't think so, no. What if it were less? What if I could give you a break, like a huge break on the price? Because you were just saying that's the house you want. Right. What if I... You know, what if, you know, I mean, they cleaned it up and everything. What if I gave you a huge break on the price? I, I don't know. I'd have to talk to my husband about it, I think. I'm not sure. Um, All right, well, tell him. Like, well, what, what kind of break do you, I mean. Well, maybe you it'd take a couple hundred bucks off for the week. I mean, tell him the body was in the master bedroom and there was a lot of blood on the bed and walls, but they cleaned it up and they're getting new carpet this week. I'd have, I think I'd, I'd have to talk to my husband about it. I don't. I think that's kind of freaky. Well, I I got to move on this. I can't be waiting. Okay, look, you just 
through this my way, okay? I think I need more than like two minutes to decide on this, all right? Well, I'm trying to close this deal. I mean, we got a I, property. I understand, we I, sir. I understand that, okay? I'm there sure there you- was a murder, and they never found the murderer. So if you suckers don't pay the rent, then I got to start making some calls. Excuse me? I mean, how about a little sympathy for me? You know what? I'm not having this conversation with I'm you. I'm just saying okay? it's a lot of weight on my shoulders trying to turn this well, place around like this. a lot like of this. weight on my shoulders. You're so wishy-washy. You wanted it so hard, then you didn't want it, now you got to talk to your husband. Can I talk to the manager? I'm just saying, this is a lot for us in this office. How do you think we're dealing with this? This is traumatic. I I understand. And now the police think it might have been someone in this office. What might have been in your office? Someone in this office might have murdered the renter. What? Once they recovered the head from the freezer, I I guess it clued them in. this is ridiculous. You know what? Julie, this is the Mojo in the Morning Show. We were just phone scamming you. We will, we will scam you. To get more scams, go to Mojo in the morning.